Hello, this is Rod Martin. In this video, we will be looking at 10 climate change lies exposed. Lie number one, that global warming is bad. Where do people like to live? Svalbard or Florida? Which location has the greatest biodiversity? Antarctica or Brazil? Lie number two, that man-made CO2 is the cause of global warming. The modern warming period is one of a series of warming periods Earth has experienced roughly every thousand years. The sun rises every day. To take any one day and blame the rising sun on man is crazy. So why should we blame man for one of nearly a dozen warming periods? Lie number three, that global warming causes extreme weather like hurricanes and tornadoes. The evidence doesn't show this. Here's the graph of hurricane counts showing a 42-year downtrend. And here's a graph from NOAA showing a near 60-year downtrend in strong tornadoes. Ask yourself, what causes wind to blow? It's not heat. Venus has plenty of heat and zero wind. Wind blows because of temperature differences. Global warming will reduce the temperature difference between the poles and the equator, reducing storms. Global cooling is the bad guy on stormy winds. Lie number four, that global warming causes droughts. Ask yourself, how land ever gets water? Water in the ocean is warmed so that it evaporates, and all that water vapor forms clouds and possibly rain. If you cool the oceans, less evaporation happens. So saying global warming causes droughts is like saying food causes starvation. That's nuts. Droughts will always happen. It's a normal part of nature. If you want more droughts, then order up some global cooling. That's your villain. Lie number five, that our current warmth is unusual. We currently live in an ice age interglacial called the Holocene. So long as those two little white things persist at the poles, we live in a climate controlled by that ice. Most of Earth's history has been far warmer than today. Here's a graph of the last few billion years of temperature. Lie number six, that our current level of CO2 is unusual. We currently live in a period of CO2 starvation. The average carbon dioxide level for the last few hundred million years was something like 1,600 parts per million, four times our current level. In fact, when carbon dioxide levels fell to 800 parts per million about 30 million years ago, plants were so stressed they evolved C4 species. Lie number seven, that the rate of warming is dangerous. Every day in Los Angeles, citizens experience a temperature variation of about 11 degrees Celsius. That's every day. And the climate change alarmists are frightened that we will get a three degree Celsius change over the next hundred years. Anyone who thinks that a rate of three degrees Celsius per century is dangerous should clear the cobwebs out of their noggin. Life adapts, and a turtle could outrun the pace of warming. A turtle could walk to cooler climate in merely a few months and rest the remainder of that dangerous century the United Nations keeps talking about. Lie number eight, that the science is settled. This is the most unscientific thing I've ever heard. In fact, it's downright anti-science. For nearly two decades, climate change alarmists could not explain the pause in global warming as detected by the super-accurate satellite measurements. They had to scramble to come up with lame excuses like, the ocean ate my global warming. Lie number nine, that there is a consensus. When a researcher like Cook et al. in Australia tosses out most of their data and then takes the percentage of what remains as their consensus, that's fraud. You don't throw out most of your data to find the right percentage. That's not merely anti-science, that's scientific fraud. Lie number 10, that science is ever done by consensus. The notion of scientific consensus is an oxymoron, a self-contradictory phrase. Consensus means popularity, and voting has nothing to do with science. Bonus, lie number 11, that climate change is dangerous and must be stopped. Climate has been changing for 4.5 billion years. Was it always dangerous? No. Global warming made civilization possible. Without it, farming would never have taken hold because there would have been too little rain and too many droughts. Bonus, 
Lie number 12. That global warming makes the oceans more acidic. First of all, the oceans are alkaline, so you can't make more acidic what is not acidic in the first place. Perhaps the biggest reason global warming won't change the pH of the oceans to something more dangerous is because warming forces carbon dioxide out of the oceans. This is the secret behind Al Gore's big graph in his inconvenient film. He lied too. He implied that CO2 forced temperatures up, but it was the other way around. Warming caused by nature forced great volumes of CO2 out of the oceans.